Hey Tubers, it's Tony and I'm back again right quick. I had to remake this video as I left out a very important step on how to do this job correctly after realizing that not everyone knows vehicles like I do and not everyone will apply common sense when working on a car. So I'm back to include that important step. I'm going to be showing you how to make a brake line double flare on your vehicle and you will need a couple of items to do that job correctly. A can of lubricant. Oftentimes it's a good idea to spray lubricant on the top of the brake line before attempting to flare it. It will help make the process go a little bit more smoothly. You will often have the need for a pipe bending tool, Harbor Freight, $14. They do not come with instructions. If you don't know how to use one, look for a video on YouTube. But basically guys, what you do is you put your pipe in the correct size groove on the pipe bending tool. You apply pressure and bend it slowly guys. And in the end, you will have your bend, okay? The next thing you will need is a set of skinny files, Harbor Freight, $5 for the entire pack. The very next thing you'll need is a good flaring toolkit, guys. The one in front of you comes from Harbor Freight for about $70 and it appears to be holding up pretty good. Don't waste your time, guys, buying those cheap flaring kits for $18 to $25 online, as they don't last long, and then those cheap kits only do single flares and double flares. That's it. The kit in front of you does single flares, double flares, and bubble flares, okay? Warning, guys, pay special attention and heed to this note. Single flares are to be used with any system that produces low pressure. When dealing with your brake system and your fuel system, so if you're flaring a brake line or a fuel line, you must use a double flare, okay? Again, when flaring your brake line, especially your brake line, you must use a double flare, okay? If you were to use a single flare on your brake line system, Due to the high amount of pressure that your brake line system puts out, eventually that flare would give away and break. Fluid would start leaking. Air would get into your system. Your brake pedal will go down to the floor. You will not be able to stop your vehicle, and we all know the end result after that. So please heed to that warning, okay? In your set will come a flaring tool, okay? It has different size holes for different size pipes that you would need to work on. And the numbers for the different size pipes are written on the flare tool, so you can't get it wrong, okay? In that flare tool comes a pipe cutting tool. Very self-explanatory. If you don't understand this, guys, look for a video on YouTube that will show you how to use that. The set comes with a yoke, okay? This yoke has a removable tip. In the event that you need to make a bubble flare, there are bubble flare heads here. Just grab the correct size that you need for the moment. Unscrew the head off the yoke, screw the correct size onto the yoke, and then you can go ahead and make your bubble flare. It also comes with a tool that's designed to go down and clean the inside of the pipe if you need to use this tool versus a file. You also have dies in your set, okay, that go into the different size pipes that you'll be making a flare head for, and we'll cover and I'll show you all that a little bit later. So guys, for whatever reason you are replacing a section of your pipe, whether you are replacing the entire pipe that runs from your master brake cylinder all the way down to your ABS module or replacing a portion of that pipe. What you will find is when you go to the auto parts store and purchase whatever length pipe you need, you will find that that pipe will not come in the correct length that you need. So you will have to cut that pipe occasionally. And when you cut that pipe, guys, oftentimes you will look down into that pipe and you're going to see a little bit of pipe left over from the cut. You want to take your skinny file, go down in there, guys, and clean it really good, okay? Make sure it's nice and smooth and rounded and clean. You want to file the sides a little bit, okay? And then you want to scrape down the top of the pipe until it's nice and smooth but don't go overboard guys because you want the top to be smooth but even okay now to the important step that i left out 
Here is a already flared manufactured brake line that would screw into your um, master brake cylinder and notice it has this little fitting on it and it's flared. Well guys, if I was going to flare this head here, and let's say I flared it, it's going to go into my master cylinder. I flared it, but I forgot to put my fitting on. Okay. How would I get my fitting on? I wouldn't be able. I'd have to go all over again, start all over and flare it and then put my fitting on. So my important step for you is to make sure you put your fitting on first, then go ahead and flare this. Okay. Very important because again, if you flared it, you will not be able to get this fitting on. Okay. So very, very important. So after you cut your pipe guys, oftentimes folks will reach out to me because they do not understand how to set the pipe at the correct depth in their flare tool. Okay. So what you do is you get your flare tool, you put your pipe in the correct size hole. In this case, it's one quarter inch pipe. So it's in the one quarter inch groove. What you do is you take your die, this little black thing is called a die, set it up next to the pipe. And what they should be is even guys. And it's okay that the black die is a little bit above the pipe. It won't hurt anything. In your case, just make them even. Then what you want to do is go ahead and tighten down your wing nuts to begin the process. Take the black die and we're working on making a double flare. Take the black die, put it over your pipe. Notice the pipe under the black die. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get your yoke. This is your yoke. Put it over the pipe. That's how it goes over the pipe. And then what you want to do is put it over the die. Notice the die has a little groove made to receive that pointy head of the yoke. Put it over there, guys. Hand tighten it first. Make sure it seats correctly. And then what you want to do is go ahead and drive that down really good, guys, until the black die touches the flare tool and can go no further. And then you're going to say, wow, that was a little bit difficult. Then you know you did that right. So then you back off the die with the yoke, remove the black die. You no longer need that. Come back with the yoke, put it over the pipe, screw it down by hand so it's nice and tight. And then go ahead and drive this down really hard, guys, until you say, wow, that was a little bit difficult. Then what you want to do is remove the yoke. How will you know that you made a perfectly good double flare, guys? In the end, when you're done with the pipe still sitting in your flare tool, you're going to look at the pipe and it will look like this in the end. Remember, you started out like this. And now you look like this. When you see this, you know you've done it correctly and you've made a perfectly good double flare. Okay? And you can go ahead and loosen up your wing nuts and remove your pipe. Okay? So just be mindful of that. I hope I was clear about that. Let's say for whatever reason you needed to make a single flare, okay? Come back. Remember I showed you how to set the depth and all that. But this time to make a single flare, you don't need to use the black die. You just need the yoke. Come back with your yoke. Put it over the pipe. Screw it down. And again, do it by hand first. And then go ahead and drive it down until you say, wow, that was a little bit difficult. Okay. You're going to drive it down until it can go no further. And you want to drive it down hard, guys. In the end, your pipe will look just like this. Okay. The only difference between a double flare and a single flare is when you remove your single flare. Okay. Come on, pipe. When you remove the single flare. What you're going to do is flicker it. You're going to notice that it's flimsy. Okay. It's not as strong as the double flare. And that's the reason why you don't want to use a single flare on your braking system when you're flaring it. Okay. You're going to notice that the double flare is really hard and stronger. The single flare is definitely going to be flimsy. Okay. So just be mindful and careful of that. Okay. So I hope I was kind of clear on that guys how to make a single flare and a double flare. 
Now, let's say you needed to make a bubble flare for some reason, guys. It's even more simpler, guys. What you do is to make a bubble flare, you just grab the correct size bubble flare head, screw it onto your yoke, come back, and then what you do is you put your bubble flare over top of the correct size pipe, and then you just take your yoke and drive it down really hard until you say, wow, that was a little bit difficult. Back it off. And when you're done, you will have successfully made a bubble flare. I always recommend to everyone, Google a picture of what does a single flare, double flare, and bubble flare look like so that you know what these things look like. So in the end, when you're done, you will have an idea of what they look like and your finished product should match whatever you found on the internet for the most part. So that's it, guys. That's how you make a single flare, a double flare, and a bubble flare. I've explained to you the different parts of a flaring kit. I showed you how to set the depth of your pipe in your flare tool. And your flare tool should be mounted to a vice grip. It's bolted down, guys. That will work so much easier for you and will help the process go along. Just remember in the end, just or the beginning to spray your pipe in the flare tool before you attempt to flare it, okay? And um, take your time, guys. Don't get mad if you don't get this right the first time. Most people don't get it right the first time, guys. Go to your local auto parts store, purchase a two or three foot section of pipe, cut it, play with it, all that stuff until you get it right guys before you actually attempt to really make the finished product for your vehicle and again one last warning we do not want to use a single flare on your brake line system or your fuel system okay guys i hope this video has been extremely helpful i think i've covered everything for the most important point and part and again one last time if you're flaring the line that runs into your master brake cylinder or your ABS module, you want to make sure you put on your fitting first, okay? Very important. Your, your fitting and your flare should look just like this in the end, okay? Especially if it's going into your master brake cylinder or your ABS module. Hope the video has been helpful, guys. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.